Hi, Nikki. Yeah, I'm just, I don't have any code at this moment. You can actually go to the SoundCloud site and grab some, but I'm trying to figure out why it's actually not working to save some trouble because I actually went back to the site, had a look, and it's still online and the code is still there and it still apparently works uh, or according to the SoundCloud site. So I don't know if it's something to do with browsers or browser updates or whatnot. So I'm doing some investigation. Anyways, let me show you how to do what you're, what you're looking for is called a, a bookmark or an anchor link. Okay, so services page, find the spot in the page where you want to link to. Okay, so let me go into my services page, flip it into the design view here for a second. Let's say we want to link to this section right here. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to insert an anchor. Right, so insert, uh, I'm trying to find an easy way to do it. Usually I just do it uh, in code, but uh, named anchor would be right there, control alt A. Okay. Um, anchor name service, uh, we'll call it service one to represent this area here and click OK. Um, oh, nuts. Let's don't select a word when you do that. Put it, you know, at the end of a word. Insert named anchor service one, click OK. OK. Now, service one is important because that is the uh, link that you're going to be linking to. So, um, in our in, in our uh, slider, you said on the index page. Uh, let me just preview that. And make sure I've got this information somewhat close to what we're doing here. Um, the view more button here, for example. Let's say we want to link to a section. Well, we go to this component here, right? You can either go to the index page if it's a piece of text in the index page, or you can go to the component. So library. And there we go, and go to components and uh, info box carousel. Open that up like so. We'll go to the first link. So this button right here. See how we have a pound sign? So what you do is you start by using the anchor or the point to file tool. Go drop it on the services page. Okay. Then you go back to the link thing here. Then you press the pound sign again, and then you type in services one. You just have to make sure whatever your named anchor was for when you insert it, which is right here-ish in code, it's going to I don't want source code. Um, see the ID of service one? That's what we need to uh, remember, right? So it's not service, it's not services, it's service. So service one. So it's going to go to the services page, and then because we have the pound sign, and then which is an ID of service one, it's going to go look for the ID of service one and go straight to that section in the page.